Good morning, Kip One Primary. This is Mr. Dennis. This is our first lesson um, on e-learning on your Google Classrooms and learning on YouTube. Um, I know that this uh, can be a little bit nervous, but we're also going to be excited. I'm going to learn some different things and we're going to move on with science. Uh, we miss you guys dearly. Um, all of your teachers, we've been talking about you consistently, um, reaching out to your families. We hope everything is doing well. And please, please reach out to us just to let us know you guys are doing well. Let us know if you guys need anything, if we can help. Um, just to give you guys a little insight, um, we are going through a pandemic. Um, so you guys might have heard might have heard like a coronavirus or COVID-19. And in this virus, it is affecting the, the entire world where people are getting flu-like symptoms and just bad things um, are happening. So we are practicing social distancing. Um, so if you haven't heard that, um, this is something that you can tell like people that you love um, that we're practicing social distancing um, just to make sure that we can keep our world safe and keep the people in our world safe because um, especially at KIP1 Primary, we all try our best to do our best for the world every day. Um, so behind me, you see we have a new science unit. So the last science unit that we did before we were doing typing club um, was changing landforms. You guys did super awesome. We're going to move on to something a little bit different. Um, this unit is called in Inheritance and Traits. Um, and so in this unit, you guys uh, will be introduced to uh, inheritance and traits that are inherited. So not just with animals, um, but this can be in humans or any living thing in the world and how traits are passed down through inheritance. Um, so Kipsis will be able to um, not only be introduced to inheritance and traits and learn about them, but we also going to complete a, um, a, a PowerPoint today where we are learning about different inheritance and traits. Um, so like I just said, we are starting a new unit. I'll put on our PowerPoint so we'll be able to see you'll still be able to hear my voice and I'll click in and out so you guys um, can learn the, the new uh, about the new unit. So uh, we are learning about inheritance and traits. This is our first lesson on e-learning. Super awesome, um, super exciting. We are starting this new unit today. Um, um, and this will be your first excellence class with your science and you'll have many more next week. So biologists uh, are scientists who study living things. So um, we are going to act as biologists in this unit um, and study different um, living things around the world. So living things are anything that needs um, pretty much air, water, or food to survive. Um, so in this picture, you can see different, uh, you can see different living things. Um, and I apologize. So we also start in each unit, we have what we call a big question. Our big question inside of this unit um, is how are, organ how are organisms the same and how are they different? Organisms are uh, just another word for living things. So first, we're going to watch a video about a biologist and learn some different information about it. Amazing! Living things are all over our planet, on high mountaintops, in deserts, and at the very bottom of the ocean. Life is pretty much everywhere you can think of, from the North Pole to the South Pole. And you know who really loves life? Scientists called biologists. That's because their job is to study living things. That's what the word biology really means, the study of life. So a biologist is anyone who studies anything that's alive. What kinds of living things can you think of? There are plants and animals, of course, but what else? What about fungi, like mushrooms in the woods and yeast in our kitchens, or the yucky mold that grows on old bread? And what about living things that are too small to see with just our eyes, like plankton in the rivers and oceans, or tiny bacteria that live everywhere from the soil to our own bodies? The list of different living things on Earth is practically endless, and there are biologists who study every single one of them. Since there are so many types of living things, there are also many different kinds of jobs that biologists can do. Some biologists might only study one species of animal or plant. For example, a biologist might study just three-toed sloths, but there's a bunch of things that she might want to learn about them. She might study how tree sloths and jaguars live together in the same habitat, or how many plants 
a sloth has to eat every day to survive. She might try to learn how to keep three-toed sloths from going extinct or how to clean up the pollution that's spoiling a sloth's home. A lot of the time, biologists do their jobs in the field or outside. They go right to where the things that they want to study live, and they observe or watch them in the wild. That might mean working on a boat to study dolphins that live in the ocean, or in a cave to learn all about the bats that make their homes there. Other biologists spend their days inside a laboratory using cool equipment to study living things. One of the most important tools that biologists use is a microscope. Microscopes help biologists see things that are just too small to see with their eyes alone. Microscopes work by magnifying or increasing the size of things so that the scientists can see them clearly. Biologists often use microscopes to study cells. A cell is a part that makes up a living thing. Everything alive, including your own body, is made of cells. By studying cells, biologists have been able to make new medicines and have learned how to prevent or cure diseases. So do you think you want to be a biologist? Then you need to be what all scientists are, curious. Biologists ask lots of questions to find out more about the living things that share the earth with us. They might ask questions about what some things need to stay alive like these colorful tubeworms at the bottom of the ocean. Or they might ask how some living things like rays are distantly related far back in time to other living things like sharks. Or they might try to learn more about animals' behavior or how they act, like how bees live and work together to make a colony. But that's not all. On top of studying things, whether in the field or in the laboratory, biologists also need to be able to share what they find with other scientists and anyone else who's interested in living things. People like you and me. That might mean writing about what they find, or taking pictures, or teaching students in schools all about how fascinating living things are. So there you have it. Biologists are scientists who study any kind of living things. They're scientists that are really into life. Thanks for joining us on SciShow Kids, and if you have any questions or something you'd like to learn more about, just let us know by leaving a comment below or emailing us at kids at the and we'll see you next time. So that video was pretty awesome. I know I'm in a different place in my home now. Um, so we just learned a couple of different things about that video. We learned that like different organisms have different traits. Um, and with these different traits, we can compare different um, um, living things all around the world. There's also different uh, ways. There's not just traits. So you can talk about habitats. Um, so like um, what all animals live in, what type of habitat or what all what type of living things live in what type of habitat or the type of behavior that different um, organisms have and how these uh, behaviors are uh, similar or different. Um, we are going to be answering these different questions throughout this time, which are um, what, uh, how are organisms the same and how are they different? So we'll be seeing different organisms um, throughout this entire unit. There's going to be a couple of different vocabulary words that you are going to need to study. And we're going to be doing different quizzes on these um, on, on uh, these vocabulary words and the information that we learned. And the second or third grader who gets the most of our vocabulary words right and the things that we learn, Mr. Dennis will send out a $10 gift card for you guys to buy whatever you guys want. Um, so moving on to the different vocabulary words. So we first started off with our big question. Our big question is how are organisms the same and how are they different? Some of the different vocabulary words that you can either go back to this video to refer to just to get more information to remember for yourself, keep practicing them or write them down. Our first vocabulary word that we're going to look at um, up or that we are going to see is organism. Organisms is a living thing. Organisms, sorry, are living things. Organisms are living things. So here we have like, mushrooms flowers trees zebras dragonflies fish anything that's an organism is a living thing different organisms have different traits so these different traits are characteristics that this organism might have right here we have the example of hair so you have like straight hair curly hair wavy hair um stringy hair these are all different traits that something that might have for example like um we have hair and um wolves have hair so even though we have different types of hair, these are both character uh, traits that we both share. Also, species. So species is a different word, a similar group of organisms. So we can see different um, um, species throughout um, all types of organisms. For example, a goldfish. A goldfish is a species of a fish or like a um, German shepherd. This is a species of a dog. Um, there's different species all around the world that we can see. 
Also, um, the last word we're going to look at is inherit. Inherit means to get from your parents. Um, and these are words that you'll be able to study over the time. I now want you to think about this big uh, question here. What do biologists do or study? Pretty easy. I'll give you guys a second to um, either talk with a friend next to you, a family member, a parent. What do biologists do or study? I'm going to give you a couple seconds to tell what do biologists do or study. Get ready. Go. All right. So if you said biologists study organisms or living things, you are correct. Biologists study living things and organisms. And these are different things across the um, the entire world. So I want you to think about these questions. Do you think a bi biologist would study this? This is like a sea turtle. Do you think the biologist will study a sea turtle? Yeah, biologists study, will study a sea turtle. It is a living thing. It is a organism. I'm not really sure what this is. I have to do some background knowledge. If someone can tell me uh, and put it on your announcements on Google Classroom, search up, what is this organism? Mr. Jennings will give you five extra points on your grading. This is for second and third grade. If you can look this uh, organism up, write it on the announcements. Ask a parent, ask a friend. Whoever gets this right, sends it to me. I will give you an extra five points on your grade. Do you think a, uh, sorry, and yes, a biologist would study this. This is an organism. This is still a type of animal. Um, would a biologist study this, light bulbs? No, biologists would not study light bulbs. Light bulbs are not living things. They are not organisms. They don't need food. They don't need water. They do give us light um, and uh, well, when things are dark, but they are not an organism or living thing. What about uh, this wave? Do you think this that a bi biologist would study this wave? If you said no, you are right. Uh, wave is water, but we do not feed a wave water. So water or uh, this uh, wave is not a living thing. We do not feed it or give it water to keep it alive. What about this? Yes, a tiger. We would... Um, a biologist would study a tiger. A tiger is a living thing. It's something that needs to eat. It is something that needs water to survive. So this is a difficult one. People, us, do you think a biologist would study us? Yes, a bi biologist will, would study us. We are living things we eat, we drink and we, uh, to survive um, every day. So what do all the things that biologists study have in common? You don't got it yet. We all need food. We all need water to survive. Every living thing or organism needs food and water to survive. It is alive. So we've learned. Um, we're learning so uh, so much about different organisms. We're learning about different organisms because we are going to primarily sp uh, focus on one organism today. This organism is called a. Uh, wolf or wolves. We're going to be looking at these um, these organisms to see uh, what we can find out. So it doesn't matter if you guys don't know the answer to some of these questions yet. We are going to be um, investigating, doing observations to figure out um, about these wolves. So um, before we get to that, I want you guys, if you have a paper, if you have a uh, paper and pencil, I want you to write down what is something that a bi biologist might want to want to study? You can just take two or three seconds after the video, write them down. Um, you also in your Google Classroom, Mr. Jennings has uploaded your first quiz and you will be able to complete your quiz and use the video to make sure you get 100% for extra uh, points on your grade as well. So we talked about these wolves. We're going to be investigating wolves in this unit. So we're going to uh, be looking at a uh, a park. It's called Yellowstone Park. It is next to Yellowstone School. So the second and third uh, grade, uh, second and third graders at Yellowstone School want to investigate the Yellowstone Park, which there are wolves um, that are next to them. I know that's pretty dangerous because wolves are predators, and that means that they do hunt and eat meat. Um, and pretty scary, but these second and third graders like us, we are going to be... Uh, we're going to be um, confident that we can do this and we're not going to be so scared since we are on video. So this is going to be our first video of the wolves. going to take a, a couple of minutes to look at this and we'll conclude our lesson for this week after this video. During this video, I want you to be thinking, what are the colors of the wolves that you see? 
The grazing animals must struggle mightily in search of a few blades of grass. Many elk grow weak as winter drags on. But someone else grows strong. The wolf thrives in winter. Highly intelligent and social creatures, they often show deep affection for one another. Their intense family ties also make them a deadly hunting unit. Once completely exterminated from the park, gray wolves were reintroduced in 1995 and have become a vital player in the park's ecosystem. Eagerly chasing a big bull elk, the wolf is in its element in Yellowstone. This bull didn't earn his rack by being anyone's fool. He finds refuge in the frigid Lamar River, where the wolves cannot follow, and aims his impressive rack at them. But another dinner awaits, as the rest of the pack announces. They've taken a weakened bison during the night, and there's more than enough to go around. With such a large pack to feed, they need to hunt successfully nearly every day. So in that video, we seen the different um, gray wolves um, that uh, resided at that national reserve there. I uh, I seen about three, uh, two or three different color wolves. You should have had those same color wolves written down or thought of because you will need them for the next lesson. So in the next lesson, we're going to be uh, figuring out um, why these wolves are different colors. I also want you to think, and I want everyone to answer this question, are wolves organisms? Okay, sorry, I didn't hear everybody. Are wolves organisms? Yeah, you're right. Wolves are organisms. They are living things that are in um, the world. So there's a couple of different things that we learned in this video. We learned that we're about to learn about inheritance and traits. We learned that um, organisms are living things and living things are anything that needs water and food to survive. We also have a, a lingering question. That means that a question that we're still holding on um, to figure out why were some of those wolves different colors? Also, for extra credit on your science um, grade, if you can tell me and upload on the announcements what this animal is, I will give you five extra credit points towards your grade. So this is lesson number one for KIP1 primary science, second and third graders. Um, I'll be hearing from you guys shortly. I'll be giving you guys lesson um, two tomorrow. Um, hope you guys are doing well. Like I said, please reach out if you guys need anything. Um, and we'll uh, be talking about the next lesson very soon. Also, there's a exit ticket that you guys can do that is online on your Google Classrooms. And this will be um, also graded and going into your grades as well. Um, see you guys later.